so it's uh it's been a while it's been a hot minute but we're gonna gloss over that because we have a lot of new goodies to play with and that sounds like more fun than trying to come up with an excuse as to why I haven't been filming. Okay, so uh, yeah, before we get started, um, hi, I'm Michelle. If you're new here, if you're not, thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, hi. Uh, I post videos um, about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle and stuff. So if any of that is interesting to you, I would love it if you would subscribe and like this video. Um, so yeah. Um, also, what am I drinking? I see a lot of YouTubers do that. They're always like, what am I drinking? Uh, I'm drinking this, uh, Zevia? 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 Oh, fake Pepsi. I'm drinking this fake Pepsi. Which, if you guys have been, um, long-term subscribers, you know that's a huge deal because you know I drink so much Pepsi that it's basically what my blood is made out of now and... I haven't had a Pepsi in like months, literal months, like go me. So yeah, on to the actual video though. We um, have a whole bunch of new stuff from uh, YSL. I'm super excited about this. I love YSL. Um, so a whole bunch of new stuff to try to play around with. Um, so. Yeah, I guess we'll just start by making ourselves smell super good. And of course, it's got to be YSL. This is their Libra, Libre perfume. I don't know. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Yes. I seriously love this. Also, how cute is this packaging? This is the, I think this was limited edition packaging though. I got it from Sephora, but... Stunning, love it. Okay, so like I said, we have this whole like box just filled with some stuff. Almost have a full face. There's a couple things that I'm gonna have to substitute in instead, but almost have a full face. Also though, quick note that has nothing to do with that, but just in case you're going to ask, which I will have the entire outfit that I'm wearing today up on my Instagram, um, probably by the time this goes live. Um, but this top that I'm wearing, actually the whole outfit, but this top especially is from the Misguided um, and Carly Bible collaboration. <sighs> Guys, I don't know about the sizing. Like, okay, the clothes are incredible. Like the ones that I got so far, I've loved every single piece and I really like this top. However, the sizing is weird. I got a small, right? That's what I got, yeah, like a small. It fits perfectly on my body but like not on the not on the girls on the tatas like there's there's a lot of under boob going on down here that you can't see so but if i had sized up it would have been way too big everywhere else so i mm, i don't know anyways that's not important the makeup's what's important so let's just get into it all right so i'm just gonna start by putting on some like lip balm this is just the rouge coco balm from um chanel is this overpriced chapstick it absolutely is. Will I still probably buy it again? I absolutely will. I am who I am. I make no apologies. All right, get my mirror. There we go. Um, so before we get, like actually get into it, I do want to point out, and if you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know this, I do have psoriasis. Um, so, and like, as you can see, I have some patches on my face. So like right here is a patch, um, right here is a patch, a little on my cheeks, um, and there's a little, a little patch on my nose. So um, I, I just want to be transparent about those right now so that it, when we try out the foundation that I have from YSL, which is their new um, Bare Look Tint, which we already know like it's tint, it's not gonna be full coverage anyways, but if it looks like cakey in those specific areas, we're not going to hold it against this um, because it's not YSL's fault that I have psoriasis. So I just wanted to be transparent about that before we actually get into the makeup. So I think we're gonna start with the eyes first just because I like to do my eyes first if it's like a new palette, just in case there's fallout 
or if it's a palette that I know there is fallout with. So wait till you see this. This is the eyeshadow palette from YSL that we have. This is their Couture Color Clutch. I just got it for the packaging to be honest. Like look at that. It looks it looks like an actual clutch. And I kind of wish you could take the eyeshadows out of it and use it as a clutch. Like, you know, just give me a chain. Like I would be rocking this everywhere, but nope. Um, and this is what it looks like. I will say like these pan sizes are huge, huge. So even though this was really expensive, I'm loving the pan sizes. Like those are like blush size. So like, okay, good job. I've never used this before. I've never used eyeshadow from YSL before. So here's hoping I like the formula. I guess we're going to find out. So one thing I am noticing about this is there doesn't seem to be any like actual like matte shades. So this whole face is going to have some glitter to it. <laughs> um, or the whole eye look, I guess. Um, but we're going to start out with this color right here. If you see me looking over here, well, I guess you can see it, but my mirror. So yeah, there's definite glitter in this, but I mean, it's not like terrible. It'd definitely be cute for like a night out or something. Um, I will say that there's a little bit of fallout in the pan, but that's not really something that bothers me. I'm just saying it so that you know, in case it is something that bothers you. I don't care if there's fallout in the pan. What I care about is how it actually performs, how it looks on my eyes. That's all I care about. And like how it blends, you know, like I just fallout in the pan. That's not a big deal to me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this deeper brown right here to deepen up the outer corners of my eye and my crease. So um, the next thing we're gonna do, and yeah, I know what you're going to say. Like, come on, this is such a simple look, why? And yeah, it is, and I know that there's a lot of really beautiful, bold colors in here, so if you wanna see me um, I do a look with more of these bold colors. Just let me know down below. Um, but today we're just going to do a simple look because, well, I don't have a ton of time. So it's just the way it is. But yeah, so we're just going to go in with this really pretty like silver color. And I'm just going to use my finger, honestly, and just apply it. Oh, it's got fallout from the brown. I will say this darker brown definitely had a lot more fallout than the lighter shade but anyways yeah so i'm just gonna use my finger get some of the silver and put it on my eyelid um so the silver is like very very subtle i'm not sure if you can see that again i'm working on the lighting just be patient be patient with me please um but it's pretty it's just it's very very subtle it's not like a pop in your face silver it's very just light glitter silver but I'm not mad at it I actually think it's really pretty um so yeah we're gonna call that good for now and move on to the face um there's definitely some like glitter fallout so I'm just gonna take this powder brush this is my since we're being super bougie um my La Mer powder brush that is absolutely disgusting looking right now it is so dirty um like not dirty like oh she hasn't cleaned it just it's got like makeup on the handle for some reason and I don't even know why. But try to get some of this glitter off. Nope. Okay. Nope. Glitter's just gonna stick to me. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that glitter's not coming off. It looks like a glitter bomb went off in my face. So we're gonna move past it. So we're gonna start the face off with um, this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Is this YSL? No, it is not. So why, Michelle? Why are you using it in a full face of YSL video, especially when you have a YSL primer? 
because I have pores. That's why I'm human. Just gonna put some on, like look at that. It's like pores who, they just disappear. But if you're on a budget, the e.l.f. one works just as good. It honestly does. I constantly switch in between the two. I, I think that they are just as good as each other. And depending on how dry my skin is, which if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I have extremely dry skin. If my skin is like horribly dry that day, the um, e.l.f. Luminous uh, Putty Primer is perfection. So all my dry skin people out there, there you go. Did I just wink? I can't wink, so if I did, whoo! All right, so we have the um, the balm. It's, it says it's the YSL New uh, Glow In Balm. And what does Sephora say about this product? Let's find out. So it says, it is a 24 hour priming moisturizer with shea butter and vegetal glycerin to achieve a glowy skin look with or without makeup, which is great for those like just trying to get out of the house and not look dead looks. Um, it says you can wear alone on bare skin as your daily moisturizer or under makeup for a glowy look. You know I love my glowy looks. I use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter thing like daily. Um, and it says, Yves Saint Laurent recommends mixing a pearl size amount with new bare look skin tint, or tint skin tint foundation for a fresh, healthy looking complexion. Is that how I should do it then? Should I just mix them? Should I just mix? I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna mix them. Okay, so let's, let's read about this skin tint then, if we're just gonna mix them together. I got the skin tint in, New two, that's the shade. Hopefully it's not too dark. Um, that's just what the shade finder online told me to do, um, or told me to get. And it says that this is a lightweight skin tint with hyaluronic acid and buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh dewy complexion. Um, coverage light, finish radiant, love me a radiant finish. It says this flexible multitasking skin tint has a water cream texture for up to 24 hour hydration and leaves skin naturally enhanced with a radiant finish. Infused with glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and brightening mallow, this makeup moisturizer hybrid melts into the complexion for an effortless no makeup look. The foundation's tube is made out of 30% post-consumer recycled material. Um, the outer pack is made out of FSC certified cardboard to support forest management that respects people and nature, which was the same thing with the balm, by the way. Love that. Um, yeah, it says for a healthy, glowy skin look, not right now, Twitter, for a healthy, glowy skin look, use as the last step of your skincare routine for applying, by applying with fingers to distribute the face cream across your complexion. Hmm. For a dewy makeup look, apply after new glow in balm or blotting lotion, then use a sponge or brush to distribute the product focusing on any areas that need a little extra coverage. So this is to put on after, but this one said to mix in. So, you know what? So we're gonna do them separately, just, I guess then, fine. Fine, since you're telling me two different things, Sephora, two different things, depending on which product I'm looking at. We've got this. Okay, so we're gonna put on the uh, balm first. So it actually comes out like this milky color with the slightest like tint to it. So yeah, so far so good. I mean, obviously we have to actually put makeup over top of it, but I feel like that went on nice. Um, it feels hydrating. Like I said, you can definitely see a glow. So, so far so good. All right, so here is the um, skin tint. It is also in like a squeeze tube, just like the balm was. Um, I'm gonna put a little on the back of my hand. 
And that is what it looks like. Hopefully this is a good color match. And I'm just gonna take this Laura Lee L11 brush. I like this brush a lot. And start put, patting it into my skin. So uh, as you can see, like it definitely does have a nice radiant finish. Great shade match for me. So way to go shade finder on Sephora. Um, it definitely is a skin tint. Like it doesn't cover all of your imperfections or whatever. I can still very clearly see my freckles, which I'm fine with. I mean, they're just freckles. Um, and like I said, I can see like my psoriasis patches. Um, the redness in my cheeks um, but it definitely helped like even it out a lot better you know um, and honestly it didn't bunch up that bad on my psoriasis patches which I love because that's my biggest problem with foundations recently is especially when like my patches are really bad like it the makeup bunches up like I want to put makeup on because the, to hide the fact that I've got like these you know big psh, 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 patches everywhere but it just bunches up and looks super dry and cakey on those areas it really doesn't look that way it actually looks pretty decent I mean you can see it it's not like it's gone and you know does it even exist no it definitely exists you can see it but it doesn't look terrible so I like that I really like that I think this would be really great for like an easy everyday makeup look um it feels really lightweight on the skin. I mean, obviously without testing it for a long period of time, I can't tell you I will continue to test this for the month, but and you know, I can update you guys at the end of the month if you'd like, but like so far, so good. I really like this. So for concealer, we're going to use the All Hours Concealer. This isn't a new product. I've had this for a while. I really like this. I think I've even talked about it before. I could be wrong though, but I think I've talked about it on here before. I love this concealer. Mine's in the shade um, 0 0.5. And I'm just gonna put that on real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, and the concealer is done. So the next new product that we have is this All Hours Setting Powder. Love, love the component. Like the, oh, the packaging is beautiful. <sighs> Guys, this is why I like luxury makeup. Like, well, it's part of why I like luxury makeup. It's so pretty. Like just the packaging is stunning. So I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and dip it in here to get underneath my eyes. Um, I have this in the shade B10, I think this is, I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then I'm just gonna use my La Mer uh, powder brush to get the rest of my face real quick. I almost feel like this powder might even give you a little more coverage. Maybe I'm crazy though, I don't know. I mean, it went on pretty good. I don't feel like my skin looks too dry. I can definitely see where like on my psoriasis patches where it's a little more dry, but I just put powder on it. So, I mean, duh, you know, of course it is. Um, but it went on really nicely. I, so far I like this. So I'm gonna finish off the eyes. We're just gonna go back in with this lighter color on the bottom. Do I not have a mascara? Oh no. That, that's right, I had the shock mascara and I used it all up. It's a really good mascara. You guys should definitely try it now. Um, I will be right back. I'm going to go grab a different mascara to use and then we'll finish this up. All right. So, um, I just grabbed this one. It's the Gucci mascara. This is like one of my absolute favorite mascaras. Love it. I think it's worth every single penny. I've talked about mascaras on here before and told you guys like that for the majority of the time, I think that you really don't need to spend the money. I think that drugstore mascaras, I think the drugstore are some of the best mascaras and I mean, 
Drugstore's not always my favorite, but yeah, thousand percent. They have some of the best mascaras. Um, like you guys know, like my favorite is the Carbon Black Mascara from, is that from L'Oreal? I think it is. I love that stuff. And I also like the Lash Paradise, but this, oh, I have repurchased this. I will continue to repurchase this. I don't care how expensive it is. I don't care how expensive it is. I can't speak clearly, but love this. Beautiful luxe packaging, great product, love it. Definitely worth the splurge. Okay, so a <laughs> little update. I sneezed while I was putting on my mascara because of course I did. Um, so if it's a little darker right here, that's why, because I got on there and I got it off the best that I could, okay, but we're not perfect. Okay. So for the face, I got two bronzers. Um, the first one is 01 and then I got 02. This is what 01 looks like. Guys, their products are so stunning. And then this is 02. It looks like it's got a little crack in it. That makes me sad, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I did not get these from Sephora. These ones I actually bought from the YSL website. We're gonna go in with 01 today. And I'm just gonna use my Carly Bible Il Maquillage brush. Why? Because it's the one I grabbed. We're gonna make us look a little less pale, a little less dead. Actually went on so nice like this is a really nice subtle bronzer I really like that and it blended really easily I really really like that so I do not have a YSL blush so I'm just quickly gonna go in with this Tom Ford one it's in the color 06 inhibition this is what it looks like there now the redness in my cheeks is on purpose Yes. Um, and then for a very subtle highlight, we're just gonna go in with this Tom Ford highlight. This is their sheer highlighting duo. I love this, as you can see, like I use this top shade like all the time. I use it for eyeshadow, I use it for highlighter, I use it just all the time. So for my lips, I'm just gonna line them really quickly with this Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. It's one of the best nude lip liners you will ever find. Okay, and now for the lips, we're just gonna go in with this, um, I think it's like one of their like Rouge Volupt balms or whatever, um, in the shade 121. It's just this really pretty, like, uh, like nude color. I have definitely used this before, I love it. Okay, and now the very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this, um, the new uh, setting spray. It's the Dewy Mist setting spray. Uh, let's see what kind of a spritzer it has first, actually. Not bad. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, so what do you think? I actually really like this. I think this turned out really good. I really, really enjoy, or have enjoyed all of these products so far. I mean, obviously, I have to wear them for a while. But so far, first impression, yeah. Yeah, I like them. I, I like them. Um, I will definitely keep you guys updated if you want. Let me know down below. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I'm definitely going to keep playing around with this stuff. Really, really liking it so far. Um, and with the glitter, it's kind of like a nice little festive look, you know? I mean, Christmas is coming, New Year's is coming. Get in the festive spirit. Um, so yeah, no complaints here. Really like it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried any of these products, 
um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and also I wanted to let you guys know about, drum roll please, I'm doing a giveaway. Mm-hmm, a real giveaway. Um, so my big goal is to make it to a thousand subscribers. So as soon as we hit that goal, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. Um, so fingers crossed we hit that goal. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, make sure that you are subscribed. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, I will let you guys know the rules and all of that sort of thing. This is this is a giveaway that I am funding myself. You know, it's not in any way, shape, or form sponsored by anybody. It's not sponsored through YouTube. It's just me wanting to give back to you guys and thanks for um, supporting me. So once we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, we will be doing that giveaway. Um, you can let me know down in the comments below some of the products that you would like to see in the giveaway because I'm not done buying for it. I want it to be amazing, so yeah, I'd love some more. I already have like a whole bunch of stuff like ready um, for it and then other giveaways too, of course. Um, but yeah, so let's get me to a thousand subscribers and then we will have a giveaway. <laughs> um, so make sure you're subscribed. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to be subscribed. Um, and don't forget to follow me on my socials. I will have them linked down below. Um, yeah. But yeah, thanks for being patient with me, guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.